Why do these rules exist? And do they have to? My name is Sean and I'm a filmmaker from Glasgow. I'm following local artist and art student Laurie McAnally in the lead up to our very first exhibition, Blameless. I, th- I believe that um, we live in a society which teaches you not to get raped rather than not to rape. Um, we're taught to just kind of protect ourselves. Um, and I just think it's such a backwards way of, of thinking. I want to find out the views behind Laurie's work and how she intends to question the nature of rape culture as she's on the brink of her career. This is the first act of Laurie. There's also some articles here pointing out sort of the type of thing that uh, the judge might say to a victim on the stand. Um, things like why couldn't you keep your knees together? Or why didn't you make an effort to escape? People don't understand how incredibly courageous it is to actually come forward and report something like that. Um, to then, it's almost like being ignored or being told that it's it was your own fault. I mean, it's just, it's, it's a horrible thing to go through as it is, never mind trying to get justice. It's three days before the exhibit and Laurie's doing some last minute research at her home studio. Is this always going to be an art studio? Uh, well, sadly not. It's probably going to have to be a nursery. <laughs> so I need to seriously think about where I can actually get my work done. I reckon the space just to go run a wee crib there, man, it'll be sound. Laurie's 19 weeks pregnant. She goes for her anomaly scan next week. I should be able to find out the sex of the baby as well, which is nice. What are you hoping for? A healthy, happy baby. Um, Either way, I'll be. It makes no difference. In the college, Laurie creates the final components for the upcoming exhibit. Bag your clothes and get yourself to hospital. It's just weird that it's like normal to have a set of instructions, like an instructions manual on what to do. Blameless explores the nature of rape culture. How and why does society maintain the kind of conditioned thinking that allows blame to fall onto the victims involved in crimes of a sexual nature? So the idea kind of behind the pants was that it's acceptable, socially acceptable to buy pants in the shops with inappropriate slogans. Um, you know, things like sexy, but then your promiscuity as a person could be questioned on the stand. The piece includes a ballot box that allows the viewer to pass the same judgement society does. Is the victim partially or completely responsible? The gavel is shattered to represent Laurie's view of the corrupted societal power structures, commerce, media and the judiciary. But the gavel falls onto padded quilting because the victims of these crimes are so often silent victims. It's Laurie's first exhibit and her most personal work to date but it won't be our last. She's going to have new questions about the world she's bringing a new life into. And she's going to seek out the answers. Do you want to cast your verdict? Success or not a success? <laughs> I would say success. <laughs> yeah. To Laurie, there's only one rule, and that's blame less.